AES has been showing a decent amount of strength within a longer term neutral trend. Yesterday, the 24th, it settled the, that whole, the whole session with a gain of 21.85%. Uh, it was actually trending at some point. Let's find out what, uh, what's been going on, what is behind that uh, the trend in the stock. Seals Q Corp, LAES, is seeing a surge in attention as investor discussions intensify around the possibility of future U.S. government investment in quantum computing and cybersecurity technologies, a narrative that has placed Seals Q squarely in the spotlight. The company's focus on quantum resistant chips and secure semiconductor solutions has sparked debate about its potential alignment with national security initiatives and the broader governmental push for made in America technology independence in cryptography and data protection. The latest catalyst fueling sentiment is Seals Q's approval to list on the NASDAQ Global Select Market, effective October 27th, a significant upgrade that many investors see as a vote of confidence in the company's fundamentals and growth trajectory. This move could attract institutional investors and funds that only invest in companies listed on higher tier exchanges, adding to bullish speculation. On social and trading platforms, community members are split between momentum-driven optimism and measured caution. Bulls highlight Seals Q's strong cash reserves, strategic partnerships, and exposure to a rapidly expanding post-quantum market framing the stock as an under-the-radar national security play. Others are focusing on technical setups and short interest, suggesting the conditions could be right for a potential short squeeze if buying pressure continues into the new listing date. Skeptics, however, point to market volatility and prior dilution risks, warning that while the quantum theme is powerful, Execution and revenue visibility remain key to sustaining the current momentum. Overall, Seals Q's trending status underscores a convergence of speculative excitement and strategic relevance, combining the allure of quantum security, defense alignment, and a NASDAQ upgrade catalyst that could define the company's next major phase. Okay, the underlying trend is uh, neutral. It uh, deviated from its upward trajectory. I think when this rejection happened on happened on um, Tuesday the fourteenth, uh, the stock, you know, um, contracted the, the expansion it was on that started all the way back from uh, the 9th of September. But in any case. The extrapolation of its uh, three-day moving average saying that um, it's going to maintain the strength that it had uh, from when, from Thursday the 23rd. It's going to maintain it up till Tuesday the 28th. No guarantee that that will be the case. And then after that, we may go into a contraction. But I really doubt all of this because, you know, all of these quantum stocks, you can't stop hearing about them. You know, if it's, if it's, if it's declining today, tomorrow, you hear something else from somewhere, you know. In terms of projections, we have uh, 8.09. It is an upper projection. 3.0, 3.19 is a downward projection. Price pressure momentums. Let's see what we have. Okay, uh, the 10 and 21 day moving averages are trending. Positions opened all the way back to 21 days ago uh, in profit, and indeed also the ones opened uh, all the way back to 200 days ago. They are all in profit. On its uh, daily chart, on its four-hour chart, we may have something different. Let's see what we have there. We need to see maybe more projections. We haven't seen any. Okay, yeah, we have some here. The extrapolation of its uh, three-period moving averages is, is saying that um, high prices will continue to to print out or going all the way towards uh, Wednesday, the 5th of November. The, okay, well, there's a world where that can still align with uh, what we have on the daily chart which is saying that um, a contraction will begin from um, Thursday, the 29th. Thursday, or is it? No, Wednesday, the 29th. Here, the projections are saying um, 7.21, 8.01, 8.5. Nothing really ambitious. Nothing more ambitious than we have already seen. Uh, let's see, projection. This intraday high of um, 
8.33 probably a 52 week high it doesn't have a very strong probability of uh, being retested even though um whatever it is it is something that's there's still some probability there very tiny but still a lot can still happen within all of, the, all of that price pressure momentums let's see what we have here yes they are all trending the 10 day move now 10 period and the 21 period move now which are trending very well however the derivatives are still negative because the stock is um, recovering from um, a decline it went it got into from the fifth from the 14th or 15th of uh, this month so those derivatives are still negative but they are improving yeah they're improving a whole lot the pace and momentums may vary from time to time the pace yeah varies from time to time because you know um, at various times it will be the moment to the pace of uh, buying pressure will be high at various, various times it will be it will be uh subdued and all of, and all, of, all of that but we really want to see more ambitious projections let's have a look at the one minute charts do we do we have anything beyond eight dollars uh let's see what we have here 6.99 um 7.01 uh, let's see what we have down here at the five minute chart. Let's see what we have here 8.08. .08. Okay, without wasting much time, all we can just quickly do is just try and compute those projections. We take this, okay, we're not, we're not going to take that because it's not at the peak, really, it's not the end, it's not at the end of its. Um, not at the end of the chart we can take um we can take let's see what we can do here uh, yeah we can do this we could try and add do something really ambitious here we take um 6.55 and then we take 5.41 and 6.55 so they did that would be a difference of 1.1 1.14 1.14 so with uh, 1.14 we begin to project 1.14 that's the difference between those two prices 1.14 multiplied by 1.618 Fibonacci extension level we have 1.84 we add that to the current price of uh, 7.01 we have uh, 8.85 8.85 okay so 1.14 multiplied by 2.618 Fibonacci extension level we have 2.98 we add that to 7.01 we have uh, 9 point call it ten dollars ten dollars and then we have uh, 1.14 multiplied by 3.618 Fibonacci extension level we have 4.12 we add that to 7.01 we have 11.13 11.13 okay um do we stop here yeah okay let's just stop here um we, it could i mean the sky could be possibly be the limit you know so 8.85 10 dollars 11.13 those are the pro uh, prices it has the potential to print you know if we used uh, this high of uh, 7.65 and then subtracted um, this low of um, 5.41, we'll be, we'll be, you know, we'll be talking about um, higher prices, you know. So just have a look and uh, see what you make of all of these and I'll continue to update you. Thank you very much for watching this video.